Why, hello! Welcome to Salva Sanas. We're at another amazing project that we just saw last week. So I came here, want to show you guys the review. Come on inside, there's so many nice features to show you. You want to talk about creating a focal point, a wow factor, as soon as you walk through the door? Check out this light above me. It's absolutely amazing. I have used this light fixture in so many different places. In a living room, on top of a coffee table. I have done this two of them on a dining table. Absolutely stunning. And I'm so excited that we get to see it in a foyer because you can just imagine like I'm pretty tall and this is well above me and it gives so much height and so much elevation in this grand foyer. So this is definitely when I walked in, I saw it. I was like, oh my God, I love this light fixture. I can't wait to see the rest of the house. So we have a open concept foyer slash living and dining because as you can see, there's no walls behind me. We just have the glass dividers kind of going around. So it's very open concept and I love that. This house is huge. I mean, some of the smaller homes that we say are small, to us it's small. This one I'm going to say is big and I think you guys will all agree with me because I got to fit peanut in here and it looks phenomenal because it just fits the room just right. Guys, these kind of sofas with the curved and the angular shape, you need the right space for it. You can't just use it anywhere you like just because you love the piece. For example, in a small house, this would not fit because it would literally eat up the room. But in a large home like this, we have so much space, it actually, you get to show the piece and you get to show all of the beautiful angles that it has. We actually finished it off with a nice end table, which is not the regular size end table because they're about 20 inches. This one is about 30 inches. And I love it because it has like a pearled effect, which is nice because it's not like metal or wood. And we did it with our round, beautiful coffee table. I kind of kept the vibe here, like a circular shape. So we have the peanut, we have our circular coffee table, and then we have a two seater on this side. Why did I do a two seater here, you were wondering? Because I felt that if I did a sofa here, it'd be too bulky and two accent chairs, well, maybe it wouldn't be enough furniture. So I thought of doing almost like a chaise type of love seat here, which would sit two people very comfortably. All of the finishes go really well because we kept everything light and neutral in this room. It's very airy. So we have the white sofa, very neutral rug, and then a light gray kind of tweeted fabric here. Guys, I always say it's nice to mix and match your materials. Like for example, on Peanut over here, we have our famous poodle fabric, which is a little bit more textured and a little bit more like, I would say it has kind of like a furry type of cozy material. And then on this side, we did a light gray tweed. So yes, they're a little bit different, but they complement each, each other so well because then I mix both colors in with my rug. I have both white and gray to kind of blend everything and bring it together. Also, it goes with what's happening on the walls because we have our beautiful fireplace, which they book matched and it turned out absolutely stunning. Guys, this is actually done in a porcelain. It's not real stone, it's actually porcelain and you can book match this type of material really nicely and really perfect. Just like you see how the cut's been done in the middle here. So it creates like almost like an art-like feature on your focal wall. And they did the two sconces on either side. So obviously I'm not gonna do art or anything to cover this up, I'm just gonna leave it beautiful and elegant as it is. We come across a lot of beautiful homes. Obviously, we're blessed in that aspect of this industry, but this one is really nice because they chose such beautiful light fixtures. <laughs> Lights are everything. I'm telling you, if you're building a house or renovating or remodeling, really put a good healthy budget into your lighting because it does make all the difference. I mean, look at what's behind me right now. This spectacular beast in this huge room actually finishes the room. Something like this creates a wow factor and that's what you want in your dining room. You want it to be dramatic because this is the area that you're entertaining your guests. 
this is where you're hosting. So when you walk into the house, you see this big, beautiful light fixture and you're like, oh, I want it. So I'm going to show you what I mean by creating ambiance because I'm going to turn off all of the lights. Everything is off now and I'm going to just turn on this middle light and I don't have anything on. There's no pot lights, there's no lights on in the living room, no lights on in the dining room, just this beautiful sculpture of a light fixture. And I mean, it's beautiful because it's all natural light too. Do not do the 5000K, please keep it at like the 3500 range and this is what you get. I had a few walls, actually two walls to work with. One is right behind me. As you can see, we put a nice console table because I didn't want to leave it empty. And we put up two really cool mirrors because they're black and gold and it goes with our black and gold theme dining room with the light fixture and the furniture. And I got to use my beautiful barrel back chairs and this time done in black with gold shoes. I know you guys have seen these in many different colors, but this is it in black. It's so bold and elegant. I love these pieces. And then we had another wall on this side, which we decided to do our honeycomb sideboard. Again, bringing in the black and the gold theme with all the whites. Everything came together really nicely in this room because there was harmony, right? So we had our palette of colors we were working with and we accessorized everything with the green moss which brought in a punch of color to the room. We actually did a similar setup to this and I feel like they had maybe the same light fixture in one of our videos and you guys can click above and watch that video because it's kind of the same setup but done in more of a modern house, actually a much more modern house. This one's a little bit more transitional. Okay guys, let's go to the the other half of the house because it's absolutely stunning. I can't wait to show you. Come on in. Coming in from the dining room into the family room, we have this beautiful staircase that they've done here, guys. And I love the fact that they've done the glass railings. And it's pretty seamless. You don't have any handrails. Actually, you do over there. You don't have it here. So it doesn't obscure your view of the family room here. It's kind of clear, but obviously because of inspection reasons, you need to have this for safety. But what they've done is really cool because in the staircase, there's so much information going on. You have the moldings and then you have the wood details kind of running up and down and then you have a little bit of paint going in the middle to give it a little bit more contrast. And I find this concept really interesting and really nice because this is a space that most of the people are walking through. So when you see something bold and beautiful and with such nice mix of elements running through it, it creates a nice warm vibe. So now we're in our family room and we use one of my favorite pieces and that is our lovely sectional, which is modular. And I've told you guys before, modular is the way to go, especially if you're staging because you can break up your pieces in however way you want. So with this house, we did our sofa length much longer than a regular sofa that runs about 96 inches. And we did a break here in the middle because I felt like it would be too heavy to continue the sofa here. So I decided to do a black piece and table and it's kind of in like a raw material. So it creates a little bit more of that rustic look, that modern rustic look with our really cute accessories actually that we did here. Brought in some of the walnut to warm it up a bit because I have a beautiful wall unit here that is so warm and beautiful with the Sahara Noir stone going through on the fireplace. So I brought in all of these elements in my furniture with the brass details, with my walnut, again, brass going through. Just really created a nice welcoming cozy vibe. Talking about the coffee tables here, I decided to do a two-piece because our sectional kind of closes off the room here. It's kind of like the barrier of the family room slash kitchen. I decided to do a two-piece just so that it's not another solid piece. You have a little bit of gap in between which makes it a little bit more airy, a little bit softer on the eye visually when you're looking at the room. 
we obviously accessorized the wall units with really cool accessories. Again, guys, I took the colors and tones of the whole house and I brought it into here. You'll notice I didn't do really vibrant colors like reds or oranges or, you know, blues. I kind of kept with the theme of the house and brought it here just so that it doesn't get too busy. So if you guys look from the other side towards the wall unit, it, there's harmony. There's, it's very soft on the eye with the colors that we did. Just keeping it simple, keeping it light, but yet creating impact, right? That's what's key. One of the other lights I love in this house, right behind me, guys. These lights are super cool and they come in a variety of setups, I would say. So this one is really nice for the island. As well, you can even do these on top of your bathroom vanity if you want to have hanging fixtures instead of sconces but or even master bedroom if you want to do it as your light fixtures on the sides of your headboard the kitchen is done in the sahara noir again i love this stone guys it's like a work of art i mean when you look at it it's so beautiful with all of the warm colors running through it with the veining and yes this one is an actual stone it's not in a porcelain and then what they did on the background with the cabinets is they brought in the wood element from your wall unit in the family room so again bringing in and creating harmony between your two rooms. So not having something completely different on the other side and doing something on this side. You have the elements kind of running through the two rooms together, which is again, softer on the eye. We have the light color countertop and backsplash seamless running through, which is absolutely stunning, clean looking because it allows the Sahara Noir here to really pop. And we accessorized with our gold bowl, some greenery to bring in some life, we did our bar stools here with a brass finish. I didn't want to do anything coming above the cabinet because I wanted to keep the clean line kind of running through. So we decided to, to keep them just underneath, tucked in. But yes, you do see all of the brass elements that you have on the cabinets with the inlay and you have them in the actual bar stool legs as well. And then on this side, guys, this is really nice too. This is interesting because they kind of broke it up. Kind of makes it look like a furniture piece, right? It, you don't feel like it's like cabinet, but again, again, it's not just a cabinet. You have an actual custom built-in fridge and it's been paneled with the same wood that you have on the cabinetry on this side and in the family room on the other side. On this side of the kitchen, we have our breakfast eating area. My client really didn't want to put seating here, but I always feel like it's important, especially when you're staging, to show all of your spaces. So if I don't show a breakfast area, how can potential buyers visualize having a breakfast table there? So if you have the space for it, use it. And we had plenty of space, so I decided to do a round glass with my brass geometric shape base, and I did my five chairs around it, and with the greenery, because you have the circular bay window going here and you have the round table, so it creates a little bit more of a flow. And that's it for, oh guys, I forgot to show you the office. Let's go have a look at the office too. And this is the beautiful office. Oh my goodness, guys, we have like 14 foot ceilings here and I find it really nice because it's so elevated and you don't feel like you're stuck in an office. You feel like you're outdoor because you have all of the light finishes that they've done and I really like that. I mean, most of the homes that we see, they have like the dark wood finishes, but this one, they opted to go with the lighter grays with some of the taupe paint kind of running through and I think it's really nice. So what we did was in the areas that we were, that we had open, we accessorized it with the same tones. So we have the whites, we have the golds, maybe some little bit of black just to give it a little bit of contrast, but generally we kept it light and airy. And I did my beautiful wing back chair. It's done in a linen, which is soft on the eye. So it's not like a leather heavy material. Again, for staging purposes, we always try to stay neutral. We try to stay something that's in, not offensive so that nine out of 10 people that walk into the house like it. And then if you end up getting the design project afterwards, you can go crazy with it and do whatever that you want. But for the purpose of staging, we wanted to keep it neutral. 
and we have our shattered glass gold desk guys this desk is really oversized it's actually a pretty big desk and it fit in so well with this room because this room is really ginormous and again we accessorize with some of our brass details i just want to show you what's happening on the other side of this room because you have this beautiful almost floor to ceiling window and this is what i mean when i say it gives you that outdoor feel because it's so bright and airy you don't feel like you're indoor working in your office you feel like you're outdoor with this view going on before we go upstairs i want to show you the powder room here because guys this is definitely an important part of your house Guests will be using this. You want to make sure that it looks up to par and up to the standards of your house. So this one here, again, they've done the Sahara Noir design. They did the light fixtures on either side instead of doing it on the wall, which is also another element that's different than some of the other homes that we do because not a lot of people do pieces like this on either side of the mirror, but I feel like it gives it a lot of dimension and it creates a wow factor when you do something like this so again we have all of the brass details going through as it's been going through the whole house and we continued again that theme with our artwork but i love this back here guys this is really cool because instead of doing like a wallpaper or even just regular paint, which I don't recommend for for the powder room if you're doing it maybe on a wall or two but to create a wow factor you need to go out of the box a little bit and do something different so they've done like a paneling here between the black and the wood and i love the integrated led lights because it creates drama so when you're standing back and you walk by this room it's like oh wow that's really nice and i feel like it's important in a powder room to do something like that again because it's on the main floor and you don't know who's using it so you want your first impression to be a good impression double door primary bedroom leading into a luxury suite guys this is one of my favorites i have to say and the reason for that is because we got to match what was happening in here with the headboard well the feature wall i would say so there's a lot of different concepts that you can do in a house to really make it pop and create a mood this is one of them and they did it with paneling and uh, just regular paint. I mean, you don't have to do fabric upholstery or anything like that to create drama. You can do it with paint. So they have the paneling going through, dark gray paint, and then they created these columns on the wall, which kind of divides the wall up. So you don't have just one continuous color paint going. You have this divider with wallpaper and then on top of it they did their sconces we matched it up with our king headboard with the dark gray and then i brought it in with my pillows and some sparkle in the pillows and then we have our nice cover on top but what was really cool and what i really enjoyed doing was bringing in a little bit of drama with the accent chairs and that was getting away from the whites and the neutrals and the grays and creating drama with a dark deep blue velvet accent chair so we accessorized with some of our accessories the bedding and we did an 8x10 rug which is also gray and white so it bounces off what's happening behind us and yeah you have a really beautiful big primary bedroom but what's really special about this room is the closet because it's so custom like custom to the nines come follow me let's have a look here guys are you ready for this primary closet have a look at this voila yes the, i mean all you women watching this right now are probably drooling because this is any woman's dream closet it's pure like sex in the city i love these doors that they put in the closet doors for your shoes. You can totally display all your shoes here and make it look wow. I don't know about sharing this with a guy though. I feel like I would ha rather have this to myself and then have like another smaller closet for the guys because I mean, it's big, but it's not overly big, but it's still substantial. It's, it's pretty good. It's like really good. It's bigger than my closet. So yes, I do love it. And they did it in like a two-tone finish. So you have, the factory paint going on and when i say factory paint it's spray painted versus hand paint so it's custom made so they have the factory paint going on and then they have the wooden doors and kind of like the background going on in the closet 
I love this closet. I feel like it's masculine, it's feminine, it's everything in between. And we didn't accessorize it because we don't need to. It kind of speaks for itself. Let's go to the primary ensuite because that's actually pretty cool too. One of my favorite finishes for bathrooms is this honed tiling on the floor. And the reason I love it is because it's very sleek looking. It doesn't have that sheen. And also it's safe because when wet, it doesn't get slippery. It doesn't get like, you know, dangerous. So it's definitely safe and it looks good at the same time. So one of the things I love about this bathroom is the boldness. Again, they went with the deeper tones with the dark gray and then the black with the white veining with a countertop on the stone. And I love the inlay design that they did in the vanity. It's very contemporary, but then like kind of has that classic vibe to it. And all of these are custom made most definitely, but it really gives a nice luxury feel to the primary bathroom. And they actually did custom mirrors built into the wall. So what they have is they have the tiling on the outside and inside of that you have the mirror. So now you don't need to frame the mirror anymore. It can be frameless, which gives it more of like a hotel vibe. It feels more commercial. And they did the sconces at the top, which gives it extra lighting on top of the pot lights that are going on, obviously. And all of the finishes are in brass. And we accessorize this with a lot and a lot of towels because all over you can see their shelving. And instead of putting in little accessories, we wanted to give it like a spa like feel. So we rolled up towels, folded towels, put them in and some greenery again to give it some life to make it a little bit more earthy. And this bathroom is complete. Oh, one thing. You have a beautiful tub here in the window, which they did in a brass finish. I mean, whoever moves in here will most likely put up window treatments, but for staging purpose purposes, obviously we did not. <laughs> 